Morrow Strand is one of 70 state parks that will shut down by July of next year unless a bill before the state Senate passes. AB 42 addresses a $22 million budget cut that the state parks face in the governor's budget for next year. It would allow nonprofit organizations to run state parks and keep them open. The bill passed the assembly 75 to 1 on May 19th. The shutdown means facilities will not be maintained and park rangers will not monitor the area, a prospect that worries one man who lives by the beach. We've had some problems in the past with uh, uh, some drug dealers trying to set up a little mobile uh, vending facility, but if you take away the, the presence of the um, park rangers and control the park, I think we're going to have a wonderful um, stop and shop for um, illicit drugs. The parks selected to shut down have low attendance. The State Park Service expects only an 8% drop in attendance due to the closures. State Parks Director Ruth Coleman has even proposed allowing the public to still use closed parks just without park rangers or facilities. I don't believe it will work for any state park. A closed park is a dead park. If those are closed, no one takes care of them. Uh, they deteriorate. They get damaged.